Hey, hey everybody, how you doing? It's day two. Again, just starting off 2018, uh, trying to make a new you this year. All right, so we went through day one, we hit a lot of squats, we worked your upper body, we worked your lower body. Again, continuing day two, full body. All of week one is gonna be full body, again, mixed in with some core exercises. Today, we're gonna work those exercises with some lunges. Again, I'm here with Nikki. We're at the AMP studio. We're gonna look to get a 20 minute workout. Again, a lot of us are pressed for time during our day. We make excuses, we gain weight because we don't have time to put workouts in. So we're building these 20 minute workouts so we can show you that in 28 days, you can lose some weight, you can reduce your body fat, you can feel better, all right? So day two, we're gonna start it off. Again, we really wanna start with a static stretch and then work into a dynamic stretch before we get going into this. But again, we leave that up to you. We'll have a library of those so that you can look at that library, pick out some of the stretches you like best, work them before the workout, all right? We're gonna start off this with round one. Again, working for time. This time we're gonna be working about 30 seconds on our lunge, all right? When we work that lunge, we're gonna work 30 seconds on the right side. Then we're gonna work 30 seconds on the left side. She's gonna get 30 seconds of rest, all right? As we work the second part of round one, we're gonna do a 45 seconds of lunge on that right side, 45 seconds of that lunge on that left side, and then we're gonna go ahead and work into the rest period. Let me get this timer up here. All right, here we go. She's gonna start that lunge. She's just lunging back and forth. Again, we're gonna work this for 30 seconds. She's doing the body weight option again. We're really getting into a new year. We're getting into a new challenge, trying to change our bodies. It's perfectly okay to work your own body weight. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can always work into the dumbbells. As we work into the other rounds, you're gonna have dumbbells in your hands anyway, so it's perfectly okay to start the day off with just your body weight. All right, switch it to the other side. She's gonna switch her pivot foot. Again, as she works these lunges, it's nice to take a nice natural step forward. Don't overstep, don't understep. Just step out to a normal range, bend both your legs. Again, your guide leg is usually your back knee, so you're trying to push that back knee towards the ground. That'll kind of guide you into a correct position. Good job, Nick. All right, 30 seconds of rest here. That wasn't too tough. That was really getting the body going, getting the blood flowing. Again, 30 seconds on that on each side. Again, she chose to do body weight on the first one. You can use weight on the first one if you want to. On this second round, same thing. If you still wanna work your body weight, work your body weight. If you wanna grab some weights, grab some weights. Got a couple more seconds here on that rest time. And then we're gonna go and remember, second time through, 45 seconds on each side, then she's gonna get a full 60 seconds of rest. Here we go. Now that she's got her weights in your hand, you gotta be a little bit more careful as you step. Make sure you have your balance. Tighten your core, get to your step position, push that back knee towards the ground. Again, that's gonna guide you into the correct position. Don't be in a hurry here. If you get five reps, six reps, 10 reps, as long as they're good reps, that's all that matters. Don't rush yourselves and then topple into the left, topple into the right. You wanna make sure you get yourself into a good position. She's got a couple more on this side. Again, working 45 seconds on that right. We're gonna switch to that left. All right, Nikki, here we go. Switch that pivot foot. She's going to the other side. Again, take your time, get a nice step. Work on that back knee. Again, that back knee pushing towards the ground is gonna guide you into the correct position. We're looking for 45 degree angles in both of our legs in that correct bottom position. Good job everybody at home, you're following along. If you have this up on your tablet, your phone, your computer, Try to stick along with us, do the best you can, but make sure you're watching your timer. Again, I've got the watch on, I'm guiding her. We'll do our best to keep you in time and sync, but if not, grab a stopwatch, watch a timer. And grab your rest. Good job. All right, so she's got 60 seconds of rest here. This is a good time for her to catch her breath. Um, again, as we go through all of our workouts, we try to encourage you getting branched chain amino acids inside your body. 
Recharge is a fantastic product for that. Make sure you go to our website, check it out, look at the ingredients inside of it. Again, a lot of people choose Gatorade, they choose other stuff that is filled with sugar. This is a sugar-free option for you, all right? You're getting glutamine, you're getting CLA inside of it, you're getting your branched chain amino acids, you're getting your electrolytes that you need, and all we're flavoring it with is a natural flavor and stevia, okay? So we're keeping all that sugar out of your body and we're pushing all the great ingredients into your body so you can utilize them during your workout. Again, make sure you check that out on our website when you have time. All right, this time we're gonna work it in. 30 seconds, she's gonna do a lunge again. This time starting on that right side, she's gonna work a hammer curl at the bottom position. All right, here we go. Stepping forward, then she's gonna work the hammer up and down, full hammer, and then she's gonna bring it back. Again, 30 seconds here. She's working the lunge, the legs, she's engaging the core, she's working the biceps up and down. Again, this is another one. Since you do have dumbbells in your hands, it's a little more challenging. Take your time, make sure you get to your position. Once you're there, then work the biceps. Don't rush it and start working them before you get into the lunge position. And switch sides after the next one. Good job. Now she's gonna switch. Again, if you're doing this with just body weight, that is okay. Just move your arms with your body weight. You can still do that hammer curl with no weights in your hands. Or grab the lightest weight you can find. Find two pounders, three pounders, four pounders, five pounders. Whatever you can find to make it a little bit more challenging, find weights, find some sort of object, whatever you can do. And rest. Fantastic job. Worked it through that first time on round two. Again, we're gonna work ourselves into a second part of round two this time, stepping it up to 45 seconds. I'm gonna show you a modification in this one, so if any of you guys are having problem with the step, we'll show you the modification. That way you can work the modification through your rounds. All right, here we go, step it. So she sees a step, she's gonna work it, good. Here's the modification. If you can't go, she's just gonna come up, back down, work the curl, come up, go back down, work the curl, and now she's gonna go back to her regular motion, so kicking her foot back. Again, that is the modification. If you can't work the step and you have to stay in a stationary position, it's perfectly okay to work the entire 45 seconds in a stationary position. Or you can work half of it in a normal motion, half of it in the stationary position. And she's switching sides. Good. Again, as you can see, she's not working that hammer until she's at the bottom of that position. Tightening her core, using her entire body to balance as she works that hammer curl. Make sure you work the curl. Don't be in a rush. Don't start working it while you're moving. Start going back while it's back. Good job, Nick. Keep working it. These last couple ones work that stationary position again so they can see the modification. Here's the modification again. Again, she's not moving back and forth. She's just coming up, she's going back down. She's working the hammer, she's coming up, down. She's gonna do a couple more from that position. Again, this is the modification. So if you have problems moving around, you've got ankle, joint, any kind of issue that's gonna help or keep you from working it, this is your modification. And rest. Fantastic job. Made it through that round two there, 60 seconds of rest. Again, every time in between our periods here, make sure you're grabbing water, make sure you're grabbing some of our uh, recharge, whatever it is that you need, make sure you are hydrating during these workouts. They are shortened, they are condensed, there's not a lot of rest time, so make sure you are hydrating. As we said in, week, or in day one, if you didn't catch day one, it is okay to take longer rest periods. We do 60 seconds in between rounds. We do 30 seconds in between the two periods in the round. But if you need more time, make sure you take time to recover. We're condensing to 20 minutes for all you people that don't have time. But if you have 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes to work out, it's okay to take those longer rest periods. We're gonna work into our third round here. Again, still working that lunge. This time she's going to work an Arnold press at the bottom of the lunge. And here we go, 30 seconds. Good, she's bringing it back. She's getting a nice step, 45 degree angle in her legs. She's working that Arnold press. 
really using our entire body here. As we step, as we balance, as we work that Arnold. You can see her form is good. She's making she's sure she's getting a full rep. She's not in a hurry. And switch sides. Make sure you're breathing. Again, make sure you're working on your form. Again, we're into our third round here. You might start to get a little fatigued. Make sure you work on your form. Last one, and she's got her rest period here. 30 seconds in between. Again, we're gonna step it up on the next round to 45 seconds on both sides. She's gonna get her full 60 seconds rest and then that will be the end of round three. We'll have two rounds to go. We're almost done with the workout. Catch your breath, get something to drink, be ready for these last couple rounds. All right, Nick, here we go. Grab those dumbbells, head into the second part of round three, 45 seconds, working that Arnold. She's gonna do two or three reps here, and then I'm gonna show you the modification. All right, Nick, let's show them the modification. She's gonna stay in that position, work the Arnold from the bottom. She's gonna come up, go back down, work the Arnold from the bottom, come up, go back down, work the Arnold. All right, back to your regular motion. Again, that is the modification. Again, if you can't step back and forth, make sure you stay in that stationary position, just moving up and down as you work that Arnold press. Just got a few more reps here. We're gonna switch it to the other side. And switch legs. You can start with your left, you can start with your right, whatever side you start with, doesn't matter. Just make sure you're switching to this opposite step foot as we switch in between these. Make sure you're keeping time here too. Again, try to follow along on the screen. You're following along on the screen, you can always pause, get back into it. You know, have your own timer, your watch, stopwatch, your cell phone, whatever timer you have to make sure that you're on point with these exercises, keeping these periods to four minute periods. Just got a couple more in her. And she's got her 60 second rest period. Good job, Nick. Way to work it. Drop those dumbbells, get something to drink. Again, three rounds down here. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Good job on the workout. Again, if at any point you need to hit pause, this is where you can hit pause. You know, get a little bit of extra rest. As we work these last two periods, as soon as you're ready for it, hit play, try to follow along with us. Again, we'll always have all the notation of the workouts on the notes of the video so you can see them. We'll post them on our website, we'll post them on our Instagram. We'll make sure that you get everything you need. We'll also have an email where you can log into that email. We'll be emailing them out on a daily basis as well. Getting ready to head into our fourth round here. This time she's gonna work a front raise with her dumbbells as she gets into her bottom position of her lunge. Little more shoulder geared today with that Arnold and that front raise here. Really trying to work on those arms. Again, you're getting a lot of activation into those shoulders, into that bicep, forearms getting some work as it balances. Core is getting a lot of work trying to balance while your arms work at the bottom. Again, trying to engage all the muscles in your body as we work this first week of the challenge. And switch legs. Good job, Nip. Keep working it. Just got a couple more in her. Gonna get her some rest. Good job, rest. 30 seconds of rest here. Again, this is time for you to catch your breath. Again, if you need extra time, hit pause. Grab a little couple extra minutes, one minute, two, five, whatever it takes. Hit play, catch back up with us. 
Again, headed into the second part here. We are in round four. This is the second part of round four. Taking the time up to 45 seconds on each side. Again, working that front raise from that bottom position of the lunge. Here we go. As you can see, we dropped the weight down a little bit. Again, Nikki is a fitness professional. She's an IFBB pro. She's been through this a lot. If she can drop the weights, you can drop the weights. Don't be too prideful and think you gotta grab the heaviest weights you can. Grab the weights that challenge you, that keep you in good form. Again, she's getting a good step. She's not overstepping, she's not understepping. Again, still pushing with that back knee to get you into a good 90 degree angle in both legs. Once she's there, she's tightening and she's bringing those arms almost to eye level. Switch those legs. It's really important that you're breathing through these exercises. As you start to get a little tired, breathe. The more you breathe, the easier it is gonna be to work through this. Almost done with round four here. Really push yourselves, I know you're tired. If you're just getting back into it, you haven't worked out in six months, nine months, a year, you haven't even worked out in a month, the holidays are always rough, these are gonna be tough to get back in it, but just do your best to get through these exercises. Last one, and she's got a rest period. Good job. Worked it right there. She's gonna catch her 60 seconds of rest. We're gonna head into our last round. All right, got our last round coming up here. She's gonna work a push-up for 60 seconds, and then she's gonna stay in that push-up position. She's gonna work a crossover with her legs, really targeting that core. She's gonna switch them back and forth, minute, 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 minute. Those are our last four minutes of that workout today. She's gonna take 60 seconds of rest. That completes an entire 20 minutes. Then she's gonna do her cool down. Again, cool down is on your own, just like your warm up. Again, we're gonna try to compile some static stretches. So when you go into that static stretch library, find the exercises that suit you best, try to stretch it out. Again, if you can't hit that cool down immediately after your workout, do your best to get it in at some period. Three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes. The more you stretch, the less sore you're gonna be. I promise you need those stretches. All right, here we go, let's finish it up. She's gonna get in that good push-up position. Again, as you can see, her hands are about even with her shoulders, they're not way up, they're not way back. She's trying to get a nice bend, trying to get that chest close to the ground. She's taking her time, she's breathing. You can see her foot position here is about the most challenging foot position you can have in a push-up. It's really gonna challenge her to use that upper body. If at any point she needs a little bit of help, she's gonna widen that stance. It's gonna give her a little bit more stability. It's gonna make the exercise a little bit easier. If you get even more fatigue, we'll show you the other alternative. She can go down to her knees. So she's gonna keep it wide. Again, going down. If you go to your knees, you gotta make sure you get that chest as close to the ground as possible so we can increase that range of motion. You, use, you lose a little range of motion once you go to your knees. So make sure you're getting down as far as you can. And she's gonna go in that push-up crossover now. So she's gonna spread those feet just a little bit wider. She's gonna bring her right knee to her left elbow and then she's gonna switch sides. She's gonna go back and forth for an entire minute. As we work this exercise, it's important to try to get that knee as close to that elbow as possible. Don't be in a hurry, let that knee flow forward. You have to release your hip and push it forward. Some of us are gonna be challenged in the stomach area, you know, rocking the dad bod, whatever you got. Here we go. You gotta try to get that knee as close to that elbow as possible. If you can't get there as we work through this, let's try to improve more and more, work on that flexibility as we push that knee forward. She's got a couple more on this, then she's gonna go back to her push-ups again. There's no rest period in between these, it's just straight four minutes, minute, 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 minute. And we're back to our push-ups. This is where you gotta challenge yourself to push yourself through the end of the workout. This is the toughest part with no rest. Do your push-ups, do those crossovers, do those push-ups, do those crossovers. 
This is where you gotta challenge yourself to get over the hump. If you give up now, you're not gonna get any better. You gotta do your best to push yourself through these last four minutes of the workout. And again, since they are consecutive, there's no rest period in there, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. But for any sake you do need that rest, grab your rest. In between these, if you need 60 seconds, push pause, grab your breath, grab a drink, then get back to it. Just make sure you finish the exercises. Do not give up early. She's almost done with that push-up. Gonna head into that last crossover from that push-up position. All right, here we go, let's finish it up. Again, don't be in a race here. Don't try to get 100 of them. Really flow with the hip. Let that hip loose. Let it flow forward. Try to get that knee to that elbow without jacking our booty up in the air. We wanna to try to stay in that nice plank position. Use our core, obliques through our abs. Again, she's balancing her shoulders, her triceps, or doing all that work, holding her body up as we finish up. We're almost through it. Good job, everybody. Keep working, keep working, keep working, keep working. Again, this exercise is gonna be tough. There's not a lot of modification you can get done on this program on this last one. So you really just gotta challenge yourself from that push-up position. Again, if you just need to rest for a second, catch your breath, slow it down, slow it down. There's really, again, not a lot to the modification you can get to this exercise. She's got the last couple in her, she's gonna be done. Finish it up here, Nick, last one. And fantastic job, bring it up to your feet. Thanks for following along with us today. Again, this is day two in the books. Thank Nikki for being here, showing you all the exercises. We hope we challenged you. Do your best to get through these workouts. If you have any questions, make sure you send us your questions. We've got a great team of trainers that can answer your questions. If you need help through your program, your diet, your nutrition, we can help you there as well. Check out our website, check out our social media, stay in touch with us. Again, day three coming up tomorrow. Challenge you full body all week one. We'll see you tomorrow.